day trading versus swing trading. So these are two types of ways of which you can trade. Um, now, before I get into the specifics on both day trading and swing trading, it really depends on obviously your own strategy, your, your sort of work life, if you're working and you're looking to trade on the side, your personal life, the time that you have available to dedicate to the charts. Uh, it really just depends, as I say, on you as a person, what's gonna suit you most better. So let's start off with day trading. With day trading is very much about short term. So, you know, you are in and out of trade throughout the day, um, or nine times out of 10. You are in front of your screens, constantly looking for opportunities, getting in, getting out, you know, taking a profit, you know, et cetera, et cetera. It's very much about intraday within that specific day. It is very rare uh, for day traders to leave uh, positions running sort of over the course of the week or overnight. Um, sometimes they may leave certain runners to run um, after a, a trading day, but it's, it's typically within the trading day. You get the point, right? Day trader. And then lower time frames. Seeing as they are trading specifically in that day, you know, for that day, so they are in and out. So they're gonna be having to bring down the time frame, lower time frames. You're looking at, you know, 15 minute, 30 minute, hour at tops, you know, those lower time frames trying to get in and out and try and find those opportunities, depending on your strategy, whether it's, you know, supply and demand, whatever the case may be, you're looking for those opportunities on the shorter time frames. And then, Obviously with uh, day trading, it comes smaller profits because most of the time, most of the time when you are day trading, you are, as I say, in and out of trade. So you may be looking for smaller profits, which means as well, your stops gonna be tighter as well. So a big contrast to which I'm gonna be on next, swing trading. So with swing trading is more longer term. The, the idea of swing is essentially you're trying to find uh, whether it's the, the, the top of the range, the top of the trend, or the bottom of the range, bottom of the trend, and you're trying to swing. So you literally, as the name goes, swing. You're swinging with the price back to the upside, to the other direction, or to the downside, swinging down, whatever the case may be. And with swing trading, yes, you are holding over the more longer term. You're holding across the week or weeks. It uh, entirely depends, again, down to your strategy and how long it's gonna take for you to hit your target, um, whatever that may be. And then you are trading on higher time frames. Where we're trading over the longer term, we're gonna be looking at four hour, we're gonna be looking at the daily chart, we're gonna be looking at the weekly chart for our opportunities to try and find those swings. And then with obviously where you are trading over the longer time frames, you, you're gonna be achieving more greater profits potentially, potentially. You're looking for larger profits in comparison to day trading where you're looking for smaller profits on the shorter time frames. But here, where you're trading the larger time frames, you're looking for greater profits. With that, obviously with the, the, the greater reward potentially, you're gonna have a larger stop loss. So whereas in comparison with your day trading, you might have stop loss of around 20 pips, with swing trading, you're gonna have greater stop loss, maybe 50, 100, 150 pips, depending on how much of a swing <laughs> to the upside and to the downside you're looking for in terms of your targets. So that essentially is two types of ways of trading. Obviously there are other ways, uh, but it's simply day trading versus swing trading.